So Ruby Rose decides to exit stage left as the CW Batwoman's ratings continue to decline. We're going to look at those ratings today. We're going to talk about the exit. All this stuff, it is a trash fire beyond repair, and nobody can spin it otherwise. So hey there. Now before we begin, our channel does not accept sponsorships. Basically, we want to be beholden to no one. And one of the ways that we do that is creating comic books. It also helps us take on the mainstream and the insane changes that they've done. This has been up four days. It's another case for the Little List Umbrella. There's a link in the description. I'll talk about it at the end of the video. But thank you for listening to my spiel. So what does it say about a show when you put together something you think will pander to critics? And even the critics don't actually respond the way you want. I mean, audiences, they give it a 13%. That, that's not surprising. But the 79% with the tomato meter, yeah, that's just the beginning. Now, what's fascinating about this is that the 79%, that's all critics. But when you start breaking down the big critics, the ones that you think would respond to types of pandering, you see the Guardian. They're like, nah, don't want that kind of stuff. You continue down. You see CNN. You'll notice the New York Times, Washington Post. They are not giving this flattering scores. And when you look at some of the flattering scores, the people that say it's certified fresh, they're only giving it a 2.5 out of 4. And they bring up things like orientation as the reasons that they do so. It says a lot about a show, right? Now combine that with the issues that the show's had. I mean, we had the dropping ratings, which we're going to look at in just a moment. The injuries. If you haven't seen that stuff, you should look it up. It is absolutely insane. And Ruby Rose, yeah, she decides to call it quits. Now this, this is an article from Bounding into Comics talking about it, and they're going to give the official statement, which I'm going to look at now. Quote, I've made the very difficult decision to not return to Batwoman next season. This was not a decision I made lightly, as I have the utmost respect for the cast, crew, and everyone involved with the show in both Vancouver and in L.A. I am beyond appreciative of, gives a few people there, for not only giving me this incredible opportunity, but for welcoming me into the DC universe they have so beautifully created. She gives thanks to two people there, plus the teams at Warner Brother and the CW, who put so much into the show and always believed in me. Thank you to everyone who made Season 1 a success. I am truly grateful. So we'll look at the statement in just a moment, but I want to remind you of something first. I want to remind you of what Ruby Rose ended up putting into this show. So here's a headline again from Bounding Into Comics from September 30th, 2019, noting that Batwoman star Ruby Rose details emergency surgery to prevent paralysis after stunt injuries. I mean, can you imagine that there? So this, this was her picture that she put Put up on Instagram talking about what transpired. And here, this was her statement. So to everyone asking about the new Pez dispenser scar on my neck, a couple of months ago, I was told I needed an emergency surgery or I was risking becoming paralyzed. I had a herniated two discs doing stunts and they were close to severing my spinal cord. I was in chronic pain and yet couldn't feel my arms. Thank you, Dr. Bay, for everything you did and for allowing me to keep working and doing what I love. I am forever in your debt. And to anyone asking why I let them video it, did you not watch the Grey's Anatomy episode where they left a towel in the patient? Also, I wanted to see what happens when you uh, go under. That's interesting because they wouldn't let me record things like getting my gallbladder out and whatnot. But hey, you know, details. Now that would definitely make me want to rethink my involvement with the show, period. I mean, we're talking about somebody that needed emergency surgery to prevent paralysis because of what's gone on there. And then when you combine the languishing ratings, yeah, that would be an insult to everything you put in. Now, the statement from the showrunners before we get to everything else says, Warner Brothers Television, The CW, and B Productions thank Ruby for her contributions to the success of our first season and wish her all the best. It continues here. The studio and network are firmly committed to Batwoman's second season and long-term future, and we, along with the show's talented creative team, look forward to sharing its new direction, including the casting of a new lead actress and member of the LGBTQ community in coming months. So they're shopping specifically, not for an actress, but a specific actress, so they can play out a certain type of orientation.
orientation. I mean, that that seems insane. Other people, they can't do that? No, no, no. They can't. They can't at all. Now, what's absolutely hilarious about this to me is that the Twitter Puritan crowd is lamenting the fact that Ruby Rose is leaving. But Ruby Rose, when she was first cast, actually quit Twitter after all of that because of the insanity that ensued. Looking back to 2018 in that casting, some of the stuff that people were saying are absolutely crazy. Kate should be played by a Jewish lesbian. Jewish. That's the biggest problem with the casting. The casting is anti-Semitic. The CW's decision to not cast a Jewish lesbian contributes to Jewish erasure in media. Some of y'all are acting like if the lesbian they cast was better actress or whatever, it would have been fine. But it needed to be a Jewish lesbian from the get-go. The biggest problem with Ruby Rose's casting is she's not Jewish. Not only does Ruby Rose not identify as a lesbian, but she's not Jewish either. So they basically lied about wanting a actor that represented the diversity to stay true to who Batwoman is. And instead of just picking a hot white person that isn't too gay to offend the straights, then they talk about her being token as well. Ruby Rose being cast as Batwoman feels like the CW didn't even try to look for actual talent. They did grab the only lesbian Hollywood knows of, and they called it a day. Hmm, and look at all the people that are down with those statements, too. I'm just sad when it comes uh, down to lesbian representation that some names always come up, as if Ruby is the only gay actress you could have picked. It would have been nice for us to be introduced to a new, less-known actress who could have taken us on as an opportunity. Ruby Rose is not the only lesbian actress in Hollywood. Give the lesbian actresses the chance to get a job and diversify the images and voices of the LGBT community because not represented by the same people every bleeping time. Representation and diversity matter. But of course, Ruby Rose doesn't matter. Of course not. And it continues on and on and on from there. Now, the ratings for this show, too, they're absolutely a mess, as recorded by TVSeriesFinale.com. You'll notice here you have air date, episode, demographic, demographic change, viewers in millions, and viewer change. Now, the most important demographic for any kind of a continued success for a show is the 18 to 49 demographic. And you'll notice with episode 1-1, you have 1.86 million people tune in. The rating demographic, it goes to 0.47. And if you look at the numbers here, basically, you have a continued fall off until a certain point, right here at episode 9. This was an event. So you were talking about a big event there where you're going to bring in people and hopefully keep new eyes on it. You can see how that increases almost back up to this original number. But right off the bat afterwards, it not only falls off, but if you look before the event, you had a million plus viewers. Yeah, now afterwards, you go well under a million. You lose a million viewers from the event there. And if you look at the demographic, it goes from 0.47 to 0.60 down to 0.20. Now, right now, they're introducing character Hush, and even with all of that stuff, too, it's not working out well at all, either. Again, you end up going from a 1.860 or 1.86 million viewers to 739,000 viewers, and your demographic here at 0.47, it's reduced to a 0.20. I mean, that is is absolutely insane. And having that show after those ratings come back for a season two, yeah, that really says something. Audiences, they do not seem to like this show at all either. 11%. And that 11% is after Rotten Tomatoes purges many and many a review saying, ooh, they don't fit our criteria. I mean, if you look at the top three ratings for this right now, you'll see that this show is so bad. The script is horrible. No storyline. There are multiple episodes where Batwoman lets criminals escape. 
criminals who have murdered people. The writing is truly terrible. Huge letdown. Now that season one has aired, I sat down and watched it. Very poorly written and just plain boring. Feels more like a B-show that should be airing at 3 a.m. Won't be suffering through another season. Yeah, high praise there, huh? High praise indeed. Now for me, I don't blame Ruby Rose for wanting to leave. I'm we're talking about a bat family show that you cannot market during a time when people can't leave their homes. I mean, imagine that. Good job, DC Universe. Good job. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this. So like I said, at the beginning of this, we have our second comic book out, another case for the Littlest Umbrella. This is 40 pages of all ages, love, crafty, and goodness. And Little Umbrella Girl, that is the avatar for my six-year-old daughter. She's basically helping with our creative team, but we're telling an all-ages meaning for everyone horror story. People have tried to mass flag this offline. They've tried to cause it problems and on. But you know what? We continue to move and we continue to do so well. This keeps us away from sponsors and being beholden to anyone except you. And it also lets us challenge the mainstream. So join us in that. Plus join us because you want a good book. Link in the description. Thank you for tuning in to appreciate the heck out of you more than I could ever say. Not enough people say that. I want to say that now. And yeah, catch our next video later.